Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. This evening, I wish to expose a very important system to you in ways we have not before. We're going to call it the beginning of the information about innate. We have given channels before and one of them was the mysterious innate. We have given you some of the attributes about your own body. And we wish to enhance it tonight. I have been giving information to my partner. And he receives it through intuition. He's even begun to build a program around it. And yet it's never been publicly channeled. It is the integrity of the way that I work with him that says that many of these things should be put to you and given to you so that you can hear it and analyze it. At the same time, he begins to teach it. So that others will know what he knows as he begins his process as well. All that to say that, dear ones, it is time for teaching to begin, which is beyond what you've had in the past, that starts to identify and show you some of the grandness inside. Earlier today, I said I know who's here. It is a family that I speak to at the room. It is a family who listens to these channelings. And I again broach the timelessness of what we are doing. The information presented here will last a long time and there will be those hearing it right now for the first time and yet much time will have passed since it was given in your time. And it will be as new to them as it is to you. The energy will be just as fresh. And I say to you that in this timeless, this timeless attribute of the reality that I am in, I see the potentials of all listeners forever. I know who's listening. That may be difficult for you. Dear ones, I want to tell you about a process in your body. Not only mysterious to you because it is one that does not present itself in 3D, but elusive where you don't know how to get to it really. Not completely. And yet it belongs to you so well that it is you. And you might ask, how can something be inside me, Cryon, that I don't know about? And I will say yet again to you that you are not working at full capacity. And that this is the subject of this year. The recalibration of humanity includes an evolved spirit. And we're going to talk a little more about that in this channeling. But let us first identify innate. What makes innate so mysterious to you is that it is not a brain function. It is perhaps one of the only systems in the body that is not centralized. This is difficult. It has not been discovered. It is not known in medical science, but it has been seen over and over. What you have in DNA is very difficult to explain. 
The trillions of DNA molecules in your body are all in communication with each other all the time. This has to be the way of it. If you think about what DNA does, how does your body know which kind of cell it needs and where it needs it? It is innate that is responsible for that literally at birth. The DNA, you might say, is truly esoteric central control. It is the field around the trillions of pieces of DNA that knows itself as one entity. The one entity is innate. So you might say that it is the combination of the DNA cells in your body seen as one thing that is what you call smart body innate. It is decentralized. There is no one organ of the body that is responsible for innate. Every single part of the body is involved in smart body systems. You're used to finding out things through innate with muscle testing, the kinesiology, the tapping, all of the other systems that give you what we will call smart feedback. In order to find out what the smart body wants to tell you. And those who facilitate this know that they are talking to a field in the body and not an organ, not a gland, not the brain. So the first thing we want to tell you about innate is that it is body-wide. Anything that has DNA in you and it's usually that which you can can think of perhaps a, a major part of you, like the heart. You feel you're talking to that, but you're not. Innate is in your toenail and <laughs> in your hair. Innate is everywhere DNA is in any form that DNA exists. It's unique and it's you. Now I've told you that medical science has seen this, but they don't understand it. So let me give you the example. When a human being has the spinal cord severed in an accident, it is severed. We have talked about this before. Isn't it odd that it doesn't grow back? When everything else in the body is programmed to regenerate, the cells do not regenerate in a way where the nerves grow back. We have also told you there will be a a time when it does and that this is all part of the evolved human that is coming but let us talk about the way it is now let us see that you know or have seen a paraplegic a man or a woman in a chair who can move nothing but their head now does it make sense to you that all of the nerves are severed in the spinal cord and yet the things in the body that depend on the brain signals continue to work. The heart continues to beat, but you are told that the heart needs the brain to send the signals. You're told that the timing is in the brain for the signals to be in the right pattern. Digestion continues. Reproduction continues. Most of the body functions below the neck are uninterrupted and yet the brain is not sending signals anymore. How do you explain it? Medical science actually has a word for it. And the word would indicate that something takes over innately in the body. It's innate. <laughs> It is the DNA that keeps you alive. The DNA of this body 
actually connects with the brain and the signals are still sent in a quantum way. Remember, the DNA field is in connection with the full body all the time even though the spinal cord is severed. The brain continues to send the signals, the DNA field receives them and sends them to the heart, to the digestive, everything but the muscles. I ask you to look at this and you'll know that I am right. So you have proof of this innate, the smart body will keep you alive. Even if the wires to the brain are severed. Innate is smart. It is why we call it the smart body. The innate is smarter than that which you will call the survival organ, which is the brain. Innate is connected to something you should know about. Innate is connected to the higher self. Innate is connected to the Akashic record of the human being. Because in the DNA, those things are there. We gave you information so long ago about the layers of DNA and now we're telling you that there is a cumulative DNA consciousness in its field called innate. It's time for you to think of your DNA as one thing, not trillions of things. Science does not even acknowledge that DNA can communicate with itself. And yet it has to, in order for you to work the way you work. The beauty of what we are teaching is this, is that the corporeal body, the one that the brain controls, is beginning to build a bridge to innate. And this bridge is going to be through intuition and will create eventually a time where you will be your own medical intuitive, where you will know not only what is going in your body and what is going on in your body, but also what's going on in your Akash. I have three things I want to describe to you today. None of them are a review. Not really. They're a revelation. I want to tell you what innate does and I want to tell you that innate has programming. Innate is programmed for something you should know. Whereas the human brain is programmed for corporeal survival, innate is programmed for spiritual survival. You might ask, what is the mandate? What is the prime directive, if you want to use that terminology, for the human soul? Why are you here? <laughs> Your brain keeps you alive, dear ones. It helps you with everyday existence. It tries to keep you safe. It remembers what doesn't work day to day, corporally. But innate, I want you to think for a moment about what innate knows. Innate knows what the ancients knew. How long humanity had on this planet before it would have to make a decision. Innate knows that. Your DNA knows that. What is the prime directive of innate? To do everything it can for you to allow an awakening to take place, to allow humanity to go across the bridge and move into an ascended planet status. That is the prime directive. Spiritual survival, everything is designed around that. To push you forward in any way possible into spiritual awareness, that is what innate is for. In the process, innate also crosses the bridge with corporeal chemistry. 
in very, very different ways. Innate is responsible for spontaneous remission. <laughs> you want to know where that comes from? How can you have a disease disappear overnight? How is it possible that the corporeal body can react and cleanse itself of something so unbalanced overnight? How can tissue grow at an accelerated rate to give healing overnight? I have just given you things that the hospitals have seen over and over. They have x-rayed them. There is no way, they would say. And yet, it is a miracle. No, it isn't. It's innate. That's the power that you have. When innate finally starts to build the bridge to the corporeal self, the human being as you know it will disappear. And the one that takes its place will have a long life, able to repair itself, even grow limbs back. That is how it was designed, dear ones. That should make sense to you. But let's talk about it today. Ryan Book One, all those years ago, I talked about something that innate is responsible for. I said, it's time to drop your karma. Where is karma stored? <laughs> it is a result of past life experience pulled forward through the veil into a reincarnate body. It is an energy of unfinished business. That's karma. It's in the DNA and innate governs it. And so when we said it's time to drop your karma, how did we say to do it? You must talk to your body, talk to your cells and say, I am done with the energy of the past. I drop the karma. I move forward. These were the first instructions you ever had from me about a process that crosses the bridge from the corporeal self to the innate. Pure intent. You address your body in a way that is so pure that the body sees it and acts. And that is how karma is dropped. Now I want you to see what was not stated. Would it make sense to you that as you come into an energy as an old soul where karma is no longer needed, wouldn't the smart body innate drop it by itself? And the answer is no. Now listen, because this is the teaching of the day. You see, Innate, as smart as it is, is also programmed. And it's programmed in a survival for spiritual self. And karma has always played a part in that. You have got to deprogram innate. It has a bias. It's been doing this as long as you've been a human. It was designed to do certain things in a certain way. And consciousness is the key to change it. It always was. It always will be. Your free choice is needed to deprogram what I will call the instruction sets of an eight. So dropping your karma was the first instruction we ever gave you. Now there's more. And it gets more complicated. Innate is programmed to try to keep you into spiritual survival. And there is an older system in innate that it still has. And you've got to deprogram it. This reprogramming, you might say, through consciousness is not hard. Your consciousness through pure intent is king. 
You've always known you can change your chemistry, heal your body. Talking to innate is the key. How would you like to trigger your own spontaneous remission? Think about that. You can do it. This is the next step, dear ones. Talking to a cellular structure and controlling your chemistry is one thing. Controlling innate is another. It's you. You have permission. We told you some things in a channeling recently. We told you that affirmations are important. Now, affirmations are not repetitive phrases of meaningless consequence. And you know the difference. If you've memorized things that people told you to memorize, and mindlessly you repeat them over and over in order to accomplish a certain number of times, nobody is listening. <laughs> nobody. Because it is not seen as anything but verbose conversation with yourself. <laughs> That's it. Consciousness that is focused is pure intent. You mean it. Affirmations, especially the ones you create yourself out of your own consciousness, put to your body on a regular time schedule on purpose. You have an appointment with your innate and you're going to talk to it and here is the affirmation. And that is the way it works. You must talk to your innate as your best friend, as a human being sitting in front of you, and you're going to have a, a conversation. Would you, would you then just repeat things over and over to another person? And the answer is no. You'd give them the credibility of intelligence to listen. That is the credibility you must have with innate. Innate is your smart body. And it's time for you to reprogram what it thinks is your spiritual survival because innate has not crossed that marker with you. Your consciousness has crossed into this new energy and now it's time for you to reprogram everything. Recalibration, dear ones, is not automatic. Old soul, there are a few things you should know. Do you find it interesting that innate knows all about your past lives, but you don't? How is that for a system? <laughs> How would you like to know more? What is it that you have in your past lives that you could use today? We've talked about this. Mining the Akash is done through free choice of consciousness talking to your innate. Muscle testing, yes. Tapping, body talk, affirmations, whatever you can do that circumvents the corporeal logic of the human brain will work for innate. You have got to think different. You are used to quantity, repetition, loudness perhaps you're used to linear concepts to change things within you allopathic no homeopathy counts on innate to work did you know that a tincture sends a signal to the smart body to make the changes that the tincture has intent for that's the reason for homeopathy remedies. They're designed specifically to send a signal to an ape. Do they work? Oh, yes. You see, there's a whole concept of who you are that lurks in a place that we're asking you to connect to. If you connect to an ape, you can start finding out about who you used to be. Innate will give you what you need to know because it's smart. You can ask innate who you were in a past life and it will not tell you if it is not important 
for your spiritual survival. <laughs> but it will give you karma to push you into areas that it thinks you need for spiritual survival. So let us talk about what you have to reprogram, which is the biggest issue of innate. Number one, drop your karma. <laughs> we say it again. That is number one. What is it that continues to push you around, dear ones, that is the, the Achilles heel of your personality? What is it that, that is there that you just don't understand why it's there? I'll tell you it's the energy of the past. Get rid of it. Innate will do what you tell it. If it sees that which is spiritual logic, and it will, because this channel, innate is listening to along with you you are the consciousness trigger to change your own innate what is it that innate is built to do that makes no sense at all and I'm gonna tell you right now with everyone listening dear ones there is a system called reincarnation that is the engine at the moment for spiritual advancement on the planet you live a lifetime, you learn certain things, and you die. You are reborn into the planet, and in your DNA, Akash, or I'll say the well of wisdom, it is there. And it presses upon you, so you will not necessarily do the same thing again. An old soul knows better. In so many things that a new soul does not. You see newbies on the planet, and they can't make heads or tails out of anything. You've been there and done that. Every single lifetime builds a library of wisdom. As you sit in the chair today, you know you're an old soul. You do. Now, here is what innate has learned the system requires. Are you ready? Death. In order for you to graduate and pick up the wisdom and move forward into a higher spiritual consciousness, potentially in the next life, whether you do it or not, the potential only exists with death and rebirth. Are you starting to see where this is going? Innate, on purpose, will give you short lifetimes. <laughs> what a system. Suddenly, suddenly, you pass the marker. You come to a place where the Pleiadians knew you would be. You have the ability for the first time to do what we saw you could do 25 years ago when I came to this planet in my partner and wondered whether his stubbornness would ever allow a message like this. I want all of you to start telling innate that you don't need to die in order to capture the ideas that you are being given now of an advanced spiritual thought. That in the same lifetime that you live without death, you now have the ability of capturing wisdom and moving forward. You don't need to die. You don't need to reincarnate. You can do it by yourself. You have that in your DNA. It's starting to increase. By the time you get to 36, do the numerology. It's done. You now have the ability to stay. Innate doesn't know that. Thousands of years. It has been progressing your spiritual growth by short lifetimes. I hope I'm under. I'm, my partner is understanding this, giving you this in a way you can see. What if you didn't have to do this this way? And Nate needs to know it. Longer lifetimes are the key. Doesn't it make sense, dear ones, logically to you? That you can accomplish more on this planet if you don't have to be reborn and grow up all over again. 
stay. Some of you carry around what we will call a near-death experience potential. Now, this is a time when perhaps the karmic part of you saw your death. The potential exists for a synchronicity that pushes you right into what innate thinks you need. <laughs> time for completion. Because you need to be reborn and get on with it because that's the only engine it has ever known for you to carry the wisdom over the veil. And now, as you start to touch the higher self, you can bring it into your current lifetime. You can have the aha experience. Some of you can be brought to your knees and come out with a completely different personality. And it's happened to those who are listening to this right now. Who were you 15 years ago? Are the same one? You think the same way, you do the same things. There are many on this earth who will say, yes, I'm the same person. Of course I am. That's the way I was born. No, you. Because you know you've changed your personality. You've changed your human nature. You've even changed your corporeal structure. There are those in here who have stopped aging. <laughs> That's what this is about. The key to stopping the aging process as you know it today is by communicating to the innate and saying you don't have to die to have a spiritual growth. And you can do that any way you want. Learn how to build affirmations that are positive. Get in touch with the body through whatever process starts to come your way where you can communicate and you know you are to that smart body. And let me tell you, you don't have to convince it. It knows it. As soon as it sees the progress that you have made in your consciousness, it's a done deal. Did you hear that? Innate knows who you are. It's the smart body. It wants to cooperate as soon as it sees a new avenue of spiritual evolution. You may live a lot longer than you want to. <laughs> so that's the next thing. Stay healthy while you, while you don't age. <laughs> Is it complicated? No. Is it filled with love? Yes. Is it new? Yes. I just gave you an attribute. I... I've never been able to give humanity. And you heard it for the first time tonight. And you had to cross the veil to get this, that veil of the 2012 energy in past 2013 into 2014. I knew I could do it this year. It's time you knew the truth, that you're in control of even time on this planet. That's how powerful you are. You're going to see it. Then you'll believe it. Not all of you are able to do it with the same, same strength. That's because each of you are individuals. Dear ones, I know who you are. The old souls of this planet awake. Awaken to the new processes of a new kind of life. And in the process, don't be afraid of what you see around you. Because there will be those who don't agree, who can't do it, who don't understand it. Sometimes the difference that you are will frighten them. Not forever. Because there will come a time when all humanity will know what I'm teaching tonight. And so it is.